Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we will try something really interesting and that is Arctic Fox for PowerPC Linux. Arctic Fox is a project by a couple of guys who made a up-to-date Firefox um, basically for older Mac operating systems and they also compiled it for PowerPC Linux. I also read that they want to get it working on PowerPC Mac OS 10, which will be also really awesome, but for now uh, it's only available for either Intel Macs running 10.6 and upwards or PowerPC Macs running Linux. And I have here the bare bone requirement, uh, Ubuntu 12.04, that's uh, the minimum requirement they say. I have here a uh, Ubuntu forums page, which has a couple of download links and I just used one of those um, and they say you can run it on PowerPC even G3s which is very astonishing I'd say the G3s probably run it very sluggish but uh, you can run it and here are a couple of download links I will link you this forum here uh, in the description I downloaded here uh, this particular download Ubuntu 12.04, Arctic Fox 27.9, there might be a new one released, a later one. Um, but uh, I also had to download this file and copy it to user lib powerbzg linux gnu gnu. That's what we will do of course uh, and see if we can get this launched and see how it performs. So without further ado, let's get it started. Here is my trusty old G4 PowerBook, and it runs Ubuntu 12.04, dual booted with Mac OS X Leopard. It's got a 1.5 GHz processor and a gigabyte of RAM. I'd love to upgrade it to 2 GB of RAM, but I can't do that because the bottom RAM slot is not working. And I have uh, another G4 PowerBook 15 inch, and it has the, literally the exact same problem, so it, it uh, appears to be a real issue with those. Anyhow, just that you know the specs, so it's uh, one of the better ones out there. There's still a 1.67, which is a bit faster, but when it comes to Mac PowerPC laptops, this is pretty uh, one of the best you could get. Uh, things, of course, are different for. G4 MDDs which have dual cores or even G5s with up to quad cores. I think it performs much better on those. But this is unfortunately the fastest I have, the fastest PowerPC I have, so that will have to do. Uh, let me just connect to my Wi-Fi because it's been a very long time since I used this machine and since then I've uh, switched around my Wi-Fi. I got a lot of questions about PowerPC Linux. And this here, 12.04, is the latest version I could get running smoothly, as I didn't want to mess it up and try a different one. This is one of the few I actually got to boot without issues. And it works pretty fast, but I gotta say, it's got an SSD, that's probably partially why. So let me just connect to my file server and uh, pull the files because I've already downloaded those. So I have heard this folder called Arctic Fox PowerPC Linux. And, um,. These are the files we need, so I'll download those two. Just save those. And by the way, this is the up-to-date Firefox for PowerPC Linux, so the official Firefox. Just check the version here. It is version 39. Maybe there's a later one, I haven't updated it. Uh, maybe for like 12, that's the latest. But this is as much as it got me up to date, so yeah. Get it downloaded, good. I'll just quickly go into the Synaptic and see if it's really got some updates. Maybe it's got a few. Let's see if we have some updates. No, nothing. That's as up to date as we can get it. Okay, good. 
So, uh, why don't we start? So we have to first, I think, unzip the lib atomic, which is the file that's required. At least they write that, so just to unzip that and put that file, that package, um, to user lib power bz linux so we'll go to and file system sounds good yes okay oops that was wrong we have to go to user lib probably have to log in with root to do that at least uh, I think, or we can just move the file from the terminal, that's what we'll probably do. RPC Linux GNU, yes, here is our folder. Okay, great. It's loading some things. There's probably a bunch of files in there. Yeah. And so, uh, let's see if, we, if, if the user here has the permission to do that. Yeah, no, he doesn't. <laughs> well, guys, no biggie. We can just do this via the terminal. So that's what I'll do. Uh, we'll go into terminal. And make ourselves root access. Great. Let's go to C, downloads. Uh, what is it called again? Oh, we already got it here. Yes, libatomic, great. So what we'll now do is we'll move the libatomic so and so to user. Uh, not that I'm messing it up. Lib PowerPC Linux GNU, and uh, we'll just uh, move it there. Okay, that's good. It disappeared from here. Let's see if it is in there. I bet. Yeah, great. Okay, awesome. So there is that. We moved that. So we can now unzip our actual program. I'm never sure how to use this unzipper here. Okay, let's just unzip that to the desktop then. Okay, here is our Arctic Fox. And yeah, we'll just try to launch it there. And there it is. Awesome. Okay, so it did launch. And it did that rather fast. So why don't we um, go to Google News. See how well it works. Oh, it's searching with DuckDuckGo. Okay. That's fine. We could change that if you wanted, of course. <laughs> I'm really curious if this can do YouTube. But it loaded it. Just need it. Just need a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay. By the way, here is the GitHub link. I'll just open that up too, to just give these guys credit because they that's those are the guys who did it. And you can also access here all the the stuff for news and the, the development files and all that. Okay, um, great, so it did load it. I mean, you get a respect, still uh, an old computer. And uh, this is a fairly modern web page, so we can expect you know, that it flies about on, on this website. Uh, I would really be curious how well this runs on, like, again, a dual core PowerPC, for example. That would be really interesting. 
Just quickly go to uh, about Arctic Fox. <laughs> Come on. Maybe this Google site did kind of overload it a bit. Okay, we're at version 27.9. And uh, not sure what the latest version is really. But um, not bother with that. Well, open it up so many times. Let's just get rid of this. Um, this Google web page, but first I want to know how much RAM it uses because that's interesting as well. We only get here a gigabyte to play with, of course, so just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, here is resources, and currently, oh, only 350 megabytes used total. So that's not only the Arctic Fox, that's actually the operating system too, which is impressive. And here is our Arctic Fox. It's currently using 133 megabytes, which is really okay. Absolutely fine. And here is, by the way, um, the kernel 3.2 and uh, Ubuntu 12.04, which is, of course, now outdated. But, uh, I mean, uh, on this machine, it runs pretty good. So, let's just go to YouTube. That's something we want to know. How well does YouTube work? Will it play a video? How well will it do it? I mean, I really gotta say, it's much better than I expected. But still, like these, those guys who say, yeah, you can totally use that every day. Um, well, if you're just looking at Wikipedia pages, then maybe. But uh, uh, in this day and age where everybody likes to watch YouTube and all do all this, eh, I can't really agree upon that. Let's just try to play a YouTube video. I'm being super creative here. Right, lost a little bit of its RAM. Yeah, but still pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll not go over overdose here with 4K and the whatnot, so we'll just... Uh, uh, oh no, those are all those super high quality videos. Um, why, why don't we try to play this? I, I have no idea, guys. This is a first for me, too. Oh. Well. Uh. Yeah, that didn't work. It says it's not recognizing an HTML5 video. Well, that's a shame, actually. So... Native YouTube playback is not working. Maybe you can get it working with like an add-on, like a QuickTime add-on, or well, what am I saying? QuickTime on Linux, <laughs> uh, VLC or something. I don't know about that, unfortunately. You can tell me if you know. So here is the Verge website loaded pretty quick. Let's try to scroll here. Yeah. That's usable, absolutely. Let's go here, tech. Well, it's still loading a bit. Eh, well. Yeah, I spoke a little too soon, it's, it's not great. But it does render it, so if you're patient enough, of course, as always, you can just get it done, but... I mean, it's not ideal, but at least you can watch the website or look at the website and without having some distorted things or something. The ad is not loading so does it have some some uh, built-in ad blocker or something because oh well uh, no it doesn't. <laughs> now I don't have my pie hole activated right now which uh, should have speeded this up even more. 
But that's actually pretty good that I don't have that since it's kind of more how everybody would experience it. Let's go on eBay. So I'm used to the Austrian version of it. Uh, let's just go to ebay.com. It's consuming 250 bags. Yeah, absolutely fine. Here is eBay. Awesome things. This is, by the way, an iMac I'm looking to buy. If we can get one for a good deal, of course. My next project. That's like my next project Mac that I really wanna get into. Uh, just quickly. That worked pretty well. So it's loading it perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. No distortions or nothing cut off or missing. I mean, you gotta wait. You gotta let it load, of course. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it loaded. It's kind of stuck though. But yeah, you can browse eBay if you're patient. It's for sure better than the regular Firefox that's much slower and uses much more resources. So compared to uh, the other one, it's actually impressive. Let's go to Amazon. And stress test it a bit, although we're kind of doing it anyway the whole time. Let's go to our website. Yeah, let's open up another one though. Um, let's go to uh, go to I fix it. All three are still loading. I think we're gonna have now more than 250 mags. Ha! Even less, 239. How is he doing that? The RAM wise, we have really not a problem. It's more the CPU that's struggling here. It's ramped up 100%, yeah. Uh, but really, I mean, apart from all of this, if you had more RAM, a little bit better processor, this would feel just much better. So, I uh, really want to get a G5 Power Mac to test this on. I mean, if you have the patience, you, you it will load it. So that's good. Loaded that. Loaded our website here. Loaded Amazon. All no problem, just slow. So this browser has definitely potential. <clears throat> Although the computer is just struggling. The CPU is just not happy. <laughs> RAM is really not an issue. That's what I didn't expect, really. I expected RAM to be much more of an issue, but it isn't. That's pretty good. So this is, it's slow. I mean, it works, but it's slow. Now let's close that. But this old PowerBook fares pretty well. Much better than I expected, really. So uh, I'll uh, just quickly close that. See if that has add-ons. We got add-ons, about add-ons, get add-ons, yes. Let's see if it has the VLC add-on. Just quickly look through here. Could not find anything. Oh no. Um, well, that's a bummer. Really not? Just come on. Come on. Nothing. Oh. So that's something that um, we could, for example, here uh, try to make it a little better, make it a little faster. Or we could just install no script altogether. Let's just uh, don't do that for now. 
So unfortunately, I just don't have the time right now to research if you have a workaround available to run uh, some YouTube videos on this. I'm not talking about just copying the link here and pasting them into like a VLC or something. That's not what I mean. I mean that you can directly play it in the browser. Uh, but hey, I think generally uh, it is a success. And I find it great that these guys still support it. Although, I mean, it's not fast. It's not the, the browser's fault at all. It's just that this processor in this day and age is just not there to do modern tasks at all. Argue all you want, guys. I know we'll have some hate comments under this video saying, no, you can still use it. I always argue this way. Yes, you can still use a 1930s car to drive to work and do the modern traffic, but why would you? It's painful, it's slow, and there's no point, especially when computers are as cheap as nowadays. But hey, uh, just my opinion. So, nevertheless, I think this was a cool experiment, and um, definitely check it out if you have a PowerPC Linux. Please let me know how well it runs, if you've done some tweaks, and uh, yeah, hope you liked this video. And spread the word, Arctic Fox is an awesome project. See you later.